Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading August 26th to September 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump a right into it. good enough I guess and uh, the first card which stands for the topic of our Scorpio week is going to be the five of wands followed by the next one which represents the challenges that we need to face here this is going to be the two of cups afterwards we do have the positive aspect of the week and that is going to be the page of swords and then the last one that we are uh, to have uh, as a, a guidance here throughout the week this is going to be the nine of wands. So, um, well, I don't want to admit it really, you know, but it does look like that we will have to, how do you say it? We will have to make it, to make a peace. That sometimes we are not the smartest people here in the world, all right? And sometimes we have to, uh, let's say, succumb to alien standpoints maybe the whole thing here is that this reading reflects the interactions and the communication in general that we do have which isn't going on very well with the specific people and that is due to the fact that this these cards here are telling us that we have to make a compromise okay because if we stick drastically to our a uh, to our standpoint it's uh, it's not going to work out for, for neither. So that is what the week is all about. Reaching a, uh, a common ground, so rather like, you know, being on the same page or achieving the same page with you and your husband or a wife, with you and your boss, you know, or with you and a friend of yours uh, or with us and etc, etc. So before we go into that, guys, let's run the cards one more time. The first one is the Five of Wands, followed by the next one here, which stands for the challenges. That is going to be the Two of Cups. Then we do have the Page of Swords, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Nine of Wands, which represents the guidance that Tarot has for us. So uh, Five of Wands, it is a card pointing to a lot of collides that we are to experience throughout the weeks. And these are clashes of ideas and opinions, really. On a, uh, <clears throat> on a different note, the Five of Wands, it's a very good card for a uh, fighting against the odds. Okay, in a sense of that you don't know exactly what is to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is promised to no one. And while today you may struggle and almost merely lose a specific thing like a relationship or like a job or something like this, you know, tomorrow may present you with the around turn you need in order to a, um, 
traverse the situation into your favor. But the main topic here, like I said, is it is all revolving around clashes of ideas and you should not took it like, you know, you are, your idea or your opinion is extremely wrong and you have to entirely succumb with the other person or to the other person. No, instead you need to acknowledge that as your opinion has a, has a, uh, has a ground, okay, it's, it is covering a certain ground, the opinion of the other person has its reasons too, okay, so you can work out with both and you can construct a, 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 a thesis here, you know, a, a narrative that is going to work for both of you. The accompanied card here, it is the uh, Knight of Swords, the formation, it is a uh, active friends that we do have, so with the Knight of Swords, you have to, um, well, I would say look deep um, within uh, within yourself and uh, ask yourself who does uh, this warmongry fashion serves, you know, because if you are arguing with your uh, wife or with your husband, you know, or with your boss, that doesn't serve neither you nor your boss or wife or husband or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know, it serves no one. So instead of wasting energies into arguing upon things which it is pretty obvious that neither of you is going to agree with the other one, it's going to be a best Scorpio if you are the initiator, uh, the, uh, if you take the initiative here, to uh to try to make a piece so called or more like you know present present your opinion in a more um alternate fashion okay which could be liked and most likely is going to be liked by the other person so uh this week for us scorpio it is a, a week where you are to get along with uh, with the important personnel that are taking place into our lives the next one is going to be the challenges and that is going to be the two of cups and in this case the two of cups only points that we have to initiate all right that is going to be the challenge maybe we are going to be proud of um, of of not making this initiation because in our eyes it may looks like that we are giving up you know or we may think that our righteousness is bigger than the other side of the matter you know and we may kind of feel that, or rather it's not even feel, but assume, let's say, that the other side needs to make the first step uh, instead of us. But no, in, in this case, you know, should we want peace, we need to be the one who files for a a, a, um, a peace treaty. It, it makes a motion for a peace treaty here with the Two of Cups. So shyness and, and pride are two things that uh, you shouldn't... Um, rely on throughout this week or rather like try to forget about them and just do what um what is going to be most beneficial for you and the situation that you're finding yourself at you know struggling to reach a um um the same page with this important person that takes in your life uh, or a part of your life the accompanied card is going to be the seven of uh, swords the formation here it is a passive neutrals so we said about pride and we said about shyness. Well, with the seven of swords here, shyness takes a little bit of a, a backstage, all right? Pride is on more like on a, a, a front man with, uh, with the challenge in the sense of that the pride probably is going to be the driving force with which you may uh, be reluctant to make the very first step. For example, saying, uh, saying that you're sorry, you know, I'm sorry, even if you don't mean it saying it is going to help a lot, you know, and, and, and these kind of stuff is because the seven of wands here represents um, the, the, the boosted sense of self-righteousness, okay, and it kind of interferes with you making the, the first step to a certain extent, but with these two cards as a challenge, it also is going to be the challenge of realizing that um, nobody is going to look at you as a weak person, even if you uh, kind of like uh, when, excuse me, when you do the, the, the first move here to reach a common ground, no one is going to see you as a uh, defeat, um, <clears throat> as a, a person who took a defeat, who took a beating and the other as someone who is vic victorious upon that situation. Just on the contrary, people want to see you as someone who is willing to work the things out. The next one uh, is going to be the positive aspect and that is going to be the page of swords. I would say that this is the person that you are arguing with, okay? And uh, that person is more than willing to consider options available here with uh, with the Page of Swords. Uh, now, 
Page of Swords is very agile when it comes to us, um, when it comes to digesting a different alternatives. Okay, but in the same time, the page is very original thinker, and uh, it's uh, the the worst thing that you can do to the page or to try to get along with the page is to try to enforce your opinion. Okay, that's very very important. So as soon as you um, get on the same page with the Page of Swords, then the Page of Swords is going to appear to you as a, a very unexpected and very thriving source of help that can actually uh, skyrocket you in many in many fields in your life, Scorpio. So the, this, this thing here that you do have with that person, you still are yet to understand what resourcefulness that person can present to you for that you can use, excuse me, for your well-being. The accompanied card is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. The formation here it is a um, active enemies that we do have. So uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, it's uh, it does point that you pretty much have the all information. There is nothing hidden in in this situation. That page doesn't. Li it is not lying to you, nor it's making the things uh, <clears throat> the things on purpose. And another thing is that with the Eight of Pentacles, it is a, uh, a with this uh, formation here, it is a t testimony that uh, the future in between you and that page who can be, like I said, you know, your boss, your future lover, for example, you know, or a friend of yours, it could be your brother or a sister, it doesn't matter, someone that you are arguing a lot with, you know. So my point here was, is that the uh, the potential of, of this cooperation in between in between you and the page is yet to be defined. Okay, so do not presume that you can get just so much with that page because it's gonna go beyond just so much. And the last card that we do have for you, Scorpio, is going to be the Nine of Wands. And uh, this is the guidance here, and the guidance points, uh, well, it kind of points for two things. That f First one is the compromise, all right? First one is <clears throat> that we guys have to be the smarter, the smarter one. And in my country, by a book, it says that the, smarter, the, the smartest one is the one who makes a compromise, who steps back for a second, all right? That is the first thing. And the second one is that you can do your maneuvers here, or we can do our maneuvers here so clever that we are just going to exert impression into the Page of Swords that they are getting it their way, while in the same time we are getting it in our way. Now, this is going to happen when you make certain rearrangements, when you make certain, um, I would say, changes, you know, with your approach and how you tackle with things and etc., etc. But the most is going to come out of... <clears throat> It's going to come out of patience because the, the page is very quick and sharp with thumb, all right? But should you give a time to the page to think about the words that the page said, probably they're going to have a bit of a change of heart and they're, they're going to become a bit more reasonable. The accompanied card here, it is the Queen of... Um, the Queen of Cups in the formation, it is a active uh, enemies that we do have. So uh, as soon as you make those uh, adaptations, I would say, you know, so you can get in the same page with the page. <laughs> uh, well, the journey has just begun. OK, it is the end of the stillness. It is the end of the stall environment. It is the end of your, I would say, stoic life. OK. So I expect from this week, moving on forward, to have some few weeks that are going to be quite um, exciting, right? It's quite exciting in the sense of that there are going to be a lot of surprises coming around. And these should be, I do expect by looking at these cards, um, kind of like a, uh, a pleasant surprises. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 26th to um, September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.